Hello, in this video we're going to take a look at the reading settings. So as usual, starting at my dashboard, I'm going to go over to settings and then select reading. Now uh, like with the writing settings, some of this will make a little more sense once you've watched the posts and pages video, but uh, pa posts and pages videos, but uh, we'll, we'll cover this here and then again you may want to return to this later. So we're starting with here the front page displays and the default here is going to be your latest posts. We would like to encourage you to keep this as is. Now, however, you do have an option to changing it to a static page. So let me explain what the difference is. When you leave it at the default, your latest posts, that means your home page is the blog. So when people come to the website, they see the current information that you're posting to your website in the form of the blog, and then they can access all of the other static information uh, that they want to. But the idea behind this is that you always have new, fresh information, say at least once a week, up at the top center of your web page with older information moving down as you add new information at the top, and then people can get to the older information through the archives uh, and get to all the pages through the menu that you, you will be setting up on your site. The other option, and some websites do this, is you can change it to a static page as your home page. So that when people come to the, your website, they always see the exact same page. Something like a welcome to the library, here's what we're about. And then they can click on a link to go see that current new content in the form of the blog. Um, so you can do this. We don't recommend it. We really would like you to keep your uh, website as a as blog centric, so that that new information is always showing up. Uh, however, like I said, the option is yours. And if you'd like to talk to me more about it, you know, just drop me a line, and, and we can have a conversation about it. Uh, the next one down here is blog pages show at most ten posts, and you can change this to uh, ten uh, uh, a higher number or a lower number through these arrow keys. Um, basically, you'll, this is going to say how many posts at any one time will show up on a single blog page. So what this is saying here is the 10 most recent posts will appear and then to see older posts you will need to go into the archive or to a next page. Um, now depending on how long your posts generally are, 10 could be a lot. If you, if you write a lot of essays, you might want to lower this number. If you post a lot of short pieces of information, you might want to raise this number. But 10 is a good place to start, and I recommend leaving it there. And then you can come back and always change it later. Our next option is syndication feeds show the most recent and again 10 items is the default and you can raise this or lower this. This is if people subscribe to your blog content via RSS. Don't worry, you don't have to necessarily understand that but it is built into WordPress and um, when somebody first subscribes, how many items, how many of the last items do you want them to see? And the default is 10 and I think that's a good place to leave it. For each article in a feed, do you want to show the full text or the summary? You'll notice here full text is the default. We recommend you leave it there. Basically, if so again, if somebody subscribes to your content via RSS, when they get a new item, are they going to get the whole blog post or are they going to get part of the blog post and then they have to click and go to your website to read the rest of it? I do realize that that summary where they have to click and come to your website sounds really tempting, but that will annoy a lot of readers. Most readers are going to want to get the whole article and then they can come to your website if they want to. So again, your call, recommendation though, leave it at full text. Um, this last one is search engine visibility, and in other words, if you check this, you are basically telling Google, Yahoo, Microsoft, please don't index my content. You want to leave this alone. Do not check this box. Uh, that way people will be able to find you if they do a Google search. So that's all that's here. You've got a couple of options. We generally recommend that you leave all these things as the default, but like I said, you can change it. It is your site. Uh, as with all the settings pages, there's a save changes at the bottom. If you made any changes, go ahead and click save changes to make sure those changes are kept. Or if you haven't made any changes, you can just uh, leave this page alone and move on to the next thing. Thanks for watching.